Let's do a density column investigation. In this investigation, you're going to look at a series of mystery liquids to determine what order they would layer in if they were all poured together into one large graduated cylinder. Here's the page we're going to be using in the notebook. And what we need to do is view a series of graduated cylinders and the liquid inside them. And as we view those cylinders, we're going to be recording the color of the liquid, the mass of the liquid, the volume of the liquid, and then finally, we're going to calculate the density of each of the liquids. Here's the first mystery liquid for you to take a look at. Record the red color in your chart and then record the mass of 24 grams. So the red would go here and then 24 would go here. Next, you're going to look at the cylinder and look at the meniscus and use that meniscus to determine the volume of this liquid. Then record that volume in your chart. When we know mass and volume, we can calculate density. So put the mass into your calculator, hit the divide key, and then type in the volume. Then hit equals. This will give you the density of that liquid. Record it in the last column. Now you're ready to review the remainder of the graduated cylinders. As you view each one, record the color, the mass, and the volume on your chart. Then calculate the density. If you need to, stop the video so you can take a closer look at the meniscus on each liquid. Now you're going to layer the liquids, or at least you're going to pretend to layer their liquids. So using the data you collected, pretend you're a scientist about to pour all of the liquids together in a large graduated cylinder. Predict what order the liquids will layer themselves if they're poured into this cylinder. And finally, when you've decided what order the liquids will be layered in, you click on the section and then click the bucket tool and then click the color of the liquid that you feel will be in that section of the column. Finally, in detail, explain why you colored each of the layers the way you did. What was it about each of the colored liquids that made you layer them in that order? Be specific and use data in your response.